Well, maybe you can tell by my dapper hat that it's raining. And that's because we live in the Pacific Northwest and it is January. But we're going to celebrate Mama's birthday this weekend by heading up to Semiyamu Resort. And I don't know if I said that right. Spelt a little weird. This is up near the Canadian border in Washington in a little town called Blaine. It's a resort on a spit. We've stayed there a couple times before and it's pretty fun. They got a really nice indoor outdoor pool. Good location to kind of take the family, do a little relaxing. So we hope you join us on this adventure. We are on our way out to Semiamu and I just wanted to give you a little shot on what the property looks like and like where it's located in Washington because it's in one of the coolest locations I've ever seen. So let me show you. So as you can see, it's out on this little spit here and um, this is all Puget Sound around it. <clears throat> and this is Canada up here. So it's right near the Canadian border um, here you can see the border and if I zoom out you'll kind of see where it's at in the state but it's right out here right up near the border look at that There it is. Yellow. It reminds me of the Dirty Dancing movie. Mm. It reminds me of the resort there. All right, here we go. And there's a spa too. I'm out front here at the Semiamu Resort. I want to show you a little bit of the inside as well as the exteriors. One kind of cool feature you can see off in the distance there. Got a neat looking water tower. A little rusty, but pretty cool looking. See, this is the outside. It's really big. They have a lot of ballrooms and conference rooms and meeting rooms. Looks like it's a destination as well for weddings. One of the nice amenities here. Be better suited for good weather where it's raining right now but so you can see they got bicycles you can ride around and you can get helmets at the front desk which is really nice those are nice kind of beach cruisers the child and all of us loves these revolving doors so you can see here's the lobby when you walk in nice fireplace Comfortable seating area. It's a check-in area. Hi there. Got a cozy little gift shop over here. So they got some clothing, some snacks, some drinks. T-shirts and such, 25 bucks. Looks like they got some ice cream down there too. And here's a kind of a little map of the place. It's got like the different numbers of stuff you can see there, the cafes, the fire pits, health club, library, the theater, country club, grills, water tower, yeah, it's kind of a cute little map where they show you the whole place. And the thing I like the most, relaxation pointed this way. And we've definitely been relaxed here so far. So from the main lobby, I also got ice. So you can see. And they have an ATM and a microwave. Now there was a sign indicating relaxation this way, but where would you go for adventure? 
Well, luckily they got you covered in that front. As you can see, adventure is right this way. Okay, we're gonna give you a little bit of a room tour. We're on the third floor, 3155. It's a key here. And here we are. This is a double queen room. As you can see, nice big queen bed. Looks pretty, pretty comfortable. Got two of them walking around the room. Now oh, the theming is nice. It's got a seating area, a little table with a lamp. If you look down, there's the front check-in area. Their vehicle down there. They got another chair over here. It's like a table area. There's a, got a television, what's in here? So you got a safe and some drawers. Yeah, this room looks nice. Not much to it. And uh, got an alarm clock. It does look like they have a couple USB ports, which is nice. Okay, let's take a look at the, the bathroom here. It's a bathroom area. You have a coffee maker, got a little Keurig. Got some K-cups. Oh, down below. There's the mini fridge. I was afraid they didn't have one, but yeah, mini fridge. Got a, got a closet here. Got some nice robes. Here's the restroom area. Nice, got a nice sink. One thing I already like already, Plenty of towels. We may have to get some more, but it's it's annoying when places have like one or two at most, but at least there's a, a handful. And a pretty nice shower area. But yeah, this room looks really nice. It's very, very clean looking. Um, pretty large of a room. Like lots and lots of leg room. You're not all cramped up like a lot of areas or, or places we've stayed at. So plenty of areas to put the kids and the dogs and we're gonna get all set up and then continue on the day. We are settled in here in the hotel. We spent a little bit of time at the pool and the spa area. Now, as you can hear in the background, this place is dog friendly, so there's some barkage going on. But a really cool feature that we're gonna show you that's free is they have a projection movie theater that you can reserve for free. And they have a huge list of movies. And so we're gonna go see Deadpool here in a minute. So we'll show you the movie theater. Okay, and it's called the Discovery Theater. And as you can see, got some movie posters here outside. The Shining, Sleepless in Seattle, and Star Wars. From the looks of it, it's a 138 screen with an HD projector, 50 comfortable leather seats. Take a look. Got some nice seats. Got some kiddos. And we got some pizza. And we're gonna be watching some Deadpool. It's an awesome feature. And so we're gonna eat some pizza and enjoy a movie. We just showed you the movie theater and it's a pretty cool place. It's nice that they have so many different options, but they had a little bit of issue with the heating in there and it was super hot. So. We got maybe a third of the way through the movie and had a bow wow. We were all getting too, super, super warm. But it was fun. We could sit there, kind of on a little private party. We went and got some pizza from the town. We're sitting down and enjoying that. And it was just us in the movie theater. It holds about 50, it says. So if the temperature was normal, it would have been a better experience. But we had to cut out early just because it was too darn warm. So we're going to turn in for tonight and uh, show you the rest of the resort tomorrow. But the movie theater definitely is a cool selling point. And when it comes to the movie theater, here's kind of a rundown of some of the movies. All alphabetical, lots of kids' movies. They also do have some regular ones as well, but multiple, multiple sheets 
worth of movie choices that they have here on hand, and it's all completely included in your stay. So definitely if you want a movie night and you can cater it yourself, bring some food in there, have your friends over, and party a little bit while watching a movie on the big screen. But bring your own fan because it was warm. Today is our first full day, and as you can see, I'm wearing my fancy, fancy robe. Well, we're gonna go show you what the pool looks like. We swammed a little bit yesterday. Swammed, swum. We swam yesterday. It's got a really nice indoor outdoor pool that's heated, hot tub, steam room, sauna. We've made it here to the spa. We'll show you the inside. They got a little gift shop here, various items. Here's the spa area. They got massage tables. Looks like they got a whole hair cutting place too. As you can see, it's a neat wedding venue here. So it looks like they can get you all dolled up for your special day. And they do have a fitness center. I'll show you real quick. Up some stairs. So I guess they got a running track that goes all around. Oh yeah. Got a running track, weights, cardio equipment. Okay, entering from the spa area, this is the pool. As you can see, they have a huge hot tub, which is awesome. A lot of times hot tubs are super tiny and you're kind of cramped with other people, but this one's sizable. And it's right next to the indoor-outdoor pool area. Indoor-outdoor and in that this little section's indoor and then it opens up and you can go out and it's heated, we've been out in it. It actually is a pretty good temperature, even though it's raining right now, it actually feels pretty good. And they got ping pong over here, and then they got the locker rooms, and the locker rooms contain the steam room and the sauna. So this is a nice little pool area and this time of year it's pretty slow, so it's mostly we have it to ourselves. As you can see, there's the water tower. Can't really see any markings or anything on it. I'm sure it was painted really nice at one point. I think I've seen pictures. It may say Blaine or maybe even Semayahu on it at one point. We're in the city of Blaine where this resort is located. And for those with an electric vehicle, it does look like they have a charging station here, both for Tesla, well, for a different one. And albeit it's a little wet, 
They do have tennis courts as well, which you can also reserve, which are all part of it. Yeah, the coloring's kind of unique. It's kind of a orangey yellow there of the building. Looks pretty nice though. Got this kind of big courtyard area where you can turn around and up here you can load up your luggage cart with what you need to. Does look like our unit does not have it. Dude. Does look like some of these on the outside have a balcony that you can kind of sit on. I bet there's on the back side. See, this side does not face the ocean directly. The back side does, though. I think that's an upgraded room. And we're kind of up there above that roof line is where our room's at, kind of overlooking the turnabout here. Let's take a look at this. Sea View Cafe and General Store in here. Yeah, they got breakfast sandwiches, scrambles. That's nice that it's here on the premise. Let me show you the outback towards the ocean here. It says out back here. And it does look like they have kind of a outdoor seating area on the back side of the restaurant. And when we came here before, the kiddos really liked the giant outdoor chess set, as you can see here. So you can get your get your chess on. And then we've been to this place before. The Packers Oyster Bar. I'm not sure if it's open right now. I think they may have said it's closed. But it's kind of cool if you want to sit in there, grab something to drink. And especially at night, this is really gorgeous out here. I think this town right across the way may be difficult to see. It's called White Rock. That's in Canada. But at night, the lights are really beautiful, especially out these big windows here. We got some fire pits. And then I'll try to find the specific one. There's a spe specific fire pit area where it's kind of a bigger one. But in the summertime, you can get stuff to roast s'mores on the fire, which is really nice. They give you all the works to do that. And even when we checked in, they were saying, even if the fire's not going because it's all rainy and stuff, we could still get s'more stuff for the kiddos. We could just microwave them if we wanted. So that was pretty nice of them. Looks like a good portion of the second floor rooms there have balconies as well overlooking the ocean. If that's something you're into. And with the beautiful ocean behind me there, I wanted to comment real quick on the staff. They've been amazing from the time we checked in. Um, anything we've needed, they've been really on top of it, super friendly. Um, they didn't see, they seemed very, very um, eager to help and just super friendly. And so kudos to the staff here. They've been really great. We needed some extra pillows and some blankets and stuff. Um, they were brought it right up to the room. We didn't have to wait forever um, and check in. They were real helpful as far as setting us up with the free movie night and kind of giving us the lay of the land. So really helpful, really friendly. And that's definitely a plus um, when you're staying at any place in case you have some sort of concern or sort of issue, they're on it. So, hey, good on you, Semiyamu with staff. Did I say that right? Semiyamu. Good on you, good staff here. Okay, and wanted to give you a really, really pretty view here of both the resort from kind of the other side of the bay there. If you take a look, we got a beautiful sunset. Off in the distance there is the resort, but as you can see, it's really, really gorgeous, especially with the sunset. We had an amazing trip here at the Semiamu Resort. Everything went off without a hitch. And I got the beautiful water behind us and we got the spit back there. But we had a really great time. The amenities were great. We really enjoyed the pool, the hot tub, a lot of swim time and the staff were great. It was just a wonderful experience there. We really had a great time. So we like doing these location videos and travel videos, showing you different spots. This is somewhere we visited before, but we wanted to take you along with us. And we hope you like it. If you do like this kind of content, 
make sure and give us a big thumbs up. That definitely helps our channel. Also, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe and also smash that bell. That way you can join us on our next adventure. Also, we started a Patreon. $5 a month will get you a postcard signed by the family sent your way. So make sure and join up. And there's the resort across the water there. And what a gorgeous, gorgeous sunrise. Sunrise? What, well, that too. <laughs> and what a gorgeous, gorgeous sunset. The opposite of a sunrise.